Welcome to the MoCo Show official YouTube channel. I'm Maddie Tringone and I'm your host for the MoCo Minute. The MoCo Minute is a weekly video where I review the top five stories of the week in case you missed them. If you did miss them and you don't want to miss them in the future, make sure you subscribe and also follow the rest of the MoCo Show social medias. They're always linked down below. Now let's get started. We're gonna start off with a little bit of a sad story for today. Montgomery County police detectives are currently in investigating two unrelated murders that occurred on Frederick Road on Monday. Around 2.40 a.m. on Monday, um, police were called to Frederick Road for a reported shooting. Frederick Road is in Clarksburg and the shooting was of Mary Ann Blackburn, a 56-year-old woman who who had been shot twice and succumbed to her injuries later that day. Police currently have 24-year-old David Mark Blackburn, her son, in custody for the first-degree murder of his mother. At 4.50 p.m. on Monday, police were called to the Oak Mill apartment on Frederick Road for another reported shooting. Originally, this call was for cardiac arrest, but later when the police paramedics and firefighters arrived on the scene, they realized that this person was in cardiac arrest due to being shot. Responders arrived and this man had died on the scene. Several individuals, however, were spotted fleeing the scene shortly after the murder and were questioned by detectives. Both homicides are currently being investigated by the 5th District Police and by detectives. So, we will keep you guys updated, but rest in peace to both Marianne Blackburn and the man who hasn't been named yet. As you guys know, this week has definitely been a crazy start to 2021 with the attack that occurred on the Capitol. Well, Governor Larry Hogan recently um, held a little press conference providing an update on Maryland's insurrection of uh, the attack. Governor Hogan um, instructed Maryland State Police Superintendent Jerry Jones to activate mobile force field. Troopers provided assistance to both the Capitol Police at the Capitol and those in the Library of Congress. Governor Hogan organized a National Guard response force but was denied approval to deploy them. Under law, authorization from the Pentagon is needed in order for the guard to be sent to the it took an hour and a half for the federal government to grant permission to send the guard to the capitol on january 6th the maryland's national guard mission in dc has been extended until the inauguration of president-elect joe biden just to provide some security around the capitol Something a little more lighthearted than the first two stories is the long list of restaurants that are planning on opening in 2021. I'm going to put all of these restaurants on the screen right now. This list is extremely long, but due to how hard 2020 was for restaurants, it's definitely super exciting to see all these new ones planning on opening which a lot of these have been talked about on the MoCo show previously. The next story that I'm going to be covering is actually one that I wrote myself. It's about the new Netflix hit show Bridgerton, which was actually created by Watkins Mill alum Chris Van Dusen. Based on Julia Quinn's novels, um, about Bridgerton. This show takes place in the early 19th century and it is a period drama romantic series. The books follow the eight siblings in the Bridgerton family and their love lives. So 
Chris Van Dusen absolutely loved these books and he was super excited to make this into the next new hit show. Though race isn't discussed in the books, Van Dusen was adamant on making this show um, more realistic to real life and what's currently going on. He made this show a multiracial cast which is not known for being done in these old-timey period drama shows. For the last three years he has been working adamantly on this show and it's finally coming to life. Van Dusen also discussed that he wanted this show to be an escape for people, especially because of everything that has been going on in the world recently and everything that occurred in 2020. And everyone is absolutely loving it. We Tacoma resident Peter Francho is running for governor. That is the last story for today. Francho has held statewide office since 2007 in Maryland. He was first elected as Maryland's comptroller and from 1986 to 2006 he was represented District 20 in the Maryland House of Delegates. He recently announced that he was running for governor in 2022. He is officially the first declared candidate for either party. Governor Larry Hogan's second term is almost up, meaning a new governor will be chosen in 2022. In his first campaign video, he said he's going to focus on the economy, healthcare, housing, education, justice, and infrastructure, along with fixing the potholes all over MoCo and Maryland. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching this week's MoCo Minute. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. You can also comment down below which was your favorite story of the week. Also, don't forget to follow the rest of the MoCo Show social medias. Have an amazing day. See you next week.